If you plan to vote in North Carolina's 2024 primary elections, early voting starts tomorrow. News 12's Amanda Denise talked to Craven County elections officials and joins us now live. Amanda, what do voters need to do to prepare? Well, if you're one of those voters casting your early ballot tomorrow, then there are a few things that you need to know to ensure a s smooth process at the polls. And that's starting with your photo ID. Elections Director Susan Williams says all voters will be required to show a photo ID when voting. She says this ID does not have to be a state-issued real ID. Some people currently are confused about whether or not we are accepting regular driver's license, and we are. You do not have to have the real ID in order to vote. As long as you have a photo ID that was issued by the North Carolina DMV, it would work to vote. However, if you do not have a NCDMV issued driver's license, Williams says other acceptable forms of ID include a U.S. passport or a college or university ID approved by the State Board of Elections. And if you're wondering if you can still vote without a photo ID, Williams says you can. If a voter does not have the proper photo ID, they will be given the option to vote provisionally with a photo ID exception form. They will go to the help desk, they would fill out the form and then cast their ballot provisionally. And as long as there's a, a proper reason for why they had to vote that way, it will be presented to the board and the board would count those ballots. Williams says if you need an ID, you can get one for free from your county board of elections or from the NCDMV. To cast your ballot, you must also be registered. Williams says you can check your voter registration status online at the Board of Elections or at an early voting site. She says for those not registered in the county, you can do so when you show up to vote. Same day registration is still available, so voters can register same day. If they go in to register same day, uh, they would need to provide a document that has, it can either be a photo ID like a driver's license or a photo ID that has their address on it currently in Craven County or things like bank statements or a lease agreement that has your actual address on it. Now, if you do not wish to cast your vote in person, you can mail in your ballot. You will need to include a copy of your photo ID when you return that ballot. Now, William says she wants people to know that mailing in your ballot is a safe and secure process. Early voting will end Saturday, March 2nd. Reporting live in Craven County, Amanda Denise, News 12.